Okay, so we prepped the battens up, got everything ready to put together, and got a few tools ready. We've got the drill ready. Um, need a drill bit. You need to pilot the holes so that you don't get any wood splay out. Um, you can see we've got three clamps here. The reason we got clamp it down, it makes it much easier to work because um, you can line it up. What you won't see is that the, the ply was actually curved like this. Um, so what we've actually done is we've we've set it up so that when we put the timber supports on, it will help straighten it up as it goes. Along here, you'll see there's a mark. Um, basically, the top end is where the um, the header and the footers will go on either end. So your timber actually just needs to be up to um, up to the mark because that thickness there. Oh, I'm gonna show you is the size of that gap because that's where that timber will fit across there and where the other batten will go down this, the other side um, so you just make sure you got the gap right so that when you put the header on you have no issues clamp it tight all the way along don't worry about this um, gap that you've got here because as you go along you put your first screws in then pull them across um, so you can get this in a line so it's perfectly straight all the way along the edge. Um, don't worry about it too much because the timber won't be 100% perfect and the plywood's pulling in the opposite direction as well so you've just got to adjust it as you go until it all fits together. Um, and that's us at this stage. We're about to start screwing and getting it all together.